Hi, welcome to May Love. Today we address the question, can I use vitamin C and hydroxy acids like AHAs and BHAs together? The short answer is yes, you definitely can. Just make sure your skin can tolerate it and that you don't get irritation from this combination because both types of products tend to be acidic. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at May Love. Most vitamin C skincare products you see on the market use ascorbic acid because it is the most researched and proven form of vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is water soluble, so it tends to come in a lightweight serum form. The tricky part, however, is how do you make ascorbic acid get absorbed into your skin? Because as you know, our skin is waterproof. Pinnell and colleagues, then researchers at Duke University, published work in 2001 that showed that ascorbic acid can penetrate through the skin barrier if formulated in a solution where the pH is 3.5 or lower. So the vitamin C serums on the market today tend to be on the acidic side. For comparison, pH of 3.5 is about the same acidity as white wine. And of course, hydroxy acid products tend to be acidic as well. Your skin is naturally slightly acidic and functions optimally at an acidic pH for various reasons. This is because a natural acidic pH helps your skin fight off bacteria. Remember, your skin is your first line of defense against microbes from the environment. First, naturally acidic pH helps your skin fight off bacteria. As I just mentioned, it is your first line of defense against microbes and pathogens. Second, the beneficial enzymes that make ceramides, which is one of the major lipid types that make up your skin barrier, function optimally in a pH below 5. Higher pH activates what's called serine proteases. These are molecules that attack and degrade these ceramide-producing enzymes. Hence, a healthy, waterproof skin barrier relies on an acidic pH. So, acidic formulas aren't necessarily bad for your skin. In fact, studies show that an acidic pH topically can actually be very helpful to your skin in a variety of ways. For example, in a study published in 2020, Valen Gonzalez and colleagues showed that applying a glycolic acid formula in the range of pH 3 to 4.5 was antibacterial against the acne-forming bacteria C acnes. And when the pH was even lower than that, they observed even better antibacterial activity. Further, in a study published in 2010, Hatchim and colleagues showed that acidifying the skin barrier with polyhydroxy acids leads to a stronger skin barrier, in part by increasing ceramide production by inhibiting the activity of serine proteases. So, as we just discussed, vitamin C products are acidic and so are hydroxy acid products. Acidic topicals can definitely benefit your skin, but some people with sensitive skin can find them a bit irritating. And just a quick side note here, if you have easily irritated, sensitive skin, use niacinamide to fortify your skin barrier. We'll go deeper in that topic in a future video. So if you have sensitive skin, what I recommend you to try is first start using vitamin C and hydroxy acids separately, mornings and evenings. Use vitamin C serums in the morning. Why? Because vitamin C's antioxidant activity will fight the free radicals that are generated by UV rays during the day. Then, I recommend that you use hydroxy acids like glycolic acid in the evenings because glycolic acid can increase sensitivity to the sun. If that doesn't work, another option is to switch to a hydroxy acid product that might be more suitable for sensitive skin such as polyhydroxy acid products, which tend to be a bit more mild. We'll also have a video on this in the future. However, for those of you that don't experience any irritation or your skin has acclimated to both products, you can most definitely layer them together in a single routine. Click on the link below for the write-up of this video. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.